Teresa with SmokingHotCigarChick.com. Right now I'm smoking the new San Cristobal. This is the Elegancia. And uh, this is a beautiful cigar with a beautiful Ecuadorian uh, Connecticut wrapper. Mostly when you think of Connecticut, you tend to think of mild, but don't be fooled, this isn't a mild cigar. It's actually pretty medium body. There's a lot of flavors going on, more than strength, but there's just enough strength to kind of keep those flavors alive. And just like the name, I think it's a very elegant blend. This one's been blended by Don Pepin Garcia. And Pepin, when I think of Pepin, I think of those full body, spicy kind of flavors. And though there's a spice here, it's just kind of like through the retro hill, through the nose, a very pleasant spice that's an ingredient that kind of dances with everything else. It's not the prominent uh, focus. I've had this cigar several times now, and each time the, the predominant flavors that stand out for me have been kind of like a woodsy, cedary kind of flavor, um, a bit of a, a nut, nutty kind of flavor, and some earthiness, especially in the middle. I think it kind of builds to a, a little bit of an earthy tone in the middle, and then kind of goes back into those woodsy flavors. Now what I haven't done yet, and I'm actually very excited to do, is a pairing. And this is a full-on pairing actually designed by Ashton. One thing that I really admire about them is that they look beyond the cigar. They, uh, I mean, the, the name alone in their company to me has been very classic. When I think of them, I know it's something that I can, uh, I can really trust. So with their pairings, they look to, to go beyond the cigar with not just the drinks, but with food, with everything, because they know Every single one of us, when we enjoy something, we enjoy it differently. For me, I'm big into my scotches, I'm big into my cocktails, and I adore food. So this is a very exciting combination to do. What we have here is we have some dried figs, uh, some walnuts, and then a very special treat I'm excited to try is this new Battle Hill 11 Year from Jura, or actually uh, the Jura from Battle Hill. Battle Hill, they're a uh, Duncan Taylor is who makes this. They are an independent bottler, so they approach different scotch companies to uh, to gain their uh, their liquids and create their own blends or their own design. So kind of like a cigar. I mean, to me, you know, this is made by Ash uh, for Ashton, but it's been blended and designed by Don Pepin. So even though this is Jura and their product, this has been designed by uh, Duncan Taylor. Uh, one thing I will say about the bottle that stands out to me is the color. I I'm excited about this because of the color. I like that it's a very kind of a pale shade. And that tells me that more than likely this bottle hasn't had any dyes to it. And it's not a bad thing or a wrong thing if, you know, someone adds a little bit of color to it. I mean, by the... We're trained to look at things and we want to have that connection of sight as well. So if it's especially if it's a, lot, um, a bigger age, we want to see that kind of caramel color. Even though the wood might not always produce that in the liquid, so... That tells me they're pretty proud of, the, uh, of their scotch and... The flavor just stand out more than the appearance, so that's exciting to me. So the first thing I want to try is, I mean, whenever you're doing a tasting, you want to take your time with it, um, especially with the cigar. I wanted to smoke the cigar by itself, even though I've had it several times before, just to kind of get familiar with the flavors again and kind of get a, you know, a comfortable structure or um, a control, so to speak, and then introduce each one of the flavors one at a time. So the first flavor I want to introduce is the walnuts. I want to see how... Uh, how that kind of changes. And one thing I will say too as well is that what we have here, we have a lot of different textures going on. And for me, it's kind of big into food too. I like to see, you know, this is a very creamy smoke. Very creamy smoke. A lot of smoke going on too. I mean, here. An easy draw, very comfortable. And you can see there's a lot of smoke happening as well. So. I've got kind of like a creamy texture going here. We've got the walnuts and we have the figs. And it's a very, for me, kind of a local, earthy uh, core base, which is something I look for in my food. And I kind of look for in everything, my spirits, my, my cigars. So it's a very good connection. So let's try the first ingredient. Let's try the walnuts and see what happens. Something I'm noticing instantly is that the walnuts coat the palate very well, and I'm getting more of a sweet kind of flavor happening. Just kind of like a little, you know, line of sweetness, which I think will be nice with the smoke. We'll see what happens here, but that's the first thing I'm noticing that's different. And it's kind of almost like a palate cleanser. It definitely changed what was going on there. Hmm, it's really good. So yeah, the spice kind of settled down a little bit in the back. It's not as prominent as before, but it's still there. The sweetness kind of changes things going on too, though. It really brings out more of that, 
more of the earth, more of the woodsy kind of characters, and the nuttiness I thought would become really prominent, but it didn't. It really kind of played in nicely. It really balanced out. That's really cool. The, the, the walnuts themselves... I mean, if you had a walnut before, you know what a walnut tastes like by itself, but having it with a cigar, it kind of really makes you realize what things taste like in the tobacco. When we say, you know, oh, I taste this, I taste that, when you have it side by side, you can really see the connection and taste that, like really pinpoint, oh, that is what that flavor is, that's exactly what it tastes like to me. And it does that without taking out the other characteristics, but it really makes you realize what it is. So the next thing I'm going to try now is the dried figs. So I'm still, because um, I'm doing this pretty quickly for the video so you can see this, I'm still tasting a little bit of how the walnuts kind of mix into the, the figs, so that's kind of cool having it side by side that quickly, because you're really tasting the transition. So you're tasting the transition of your palate going from nothing but smoke to, you know, the walnuts plus smoke, and now from walnuts to figs, which coat the palate really well, and making that transition into the smoke. So those earthy qualities are really kind of coming up now. That spice is still there, but it's just, it's really working in perfectly. It's a nice, it's like a story. It's a great combination. I mean, I'm tasting things in the cigar that I really didn't notice. I kind of saw them there, but I didn't recognize what they were. I mean, you taste that, you're like, oh, there's other things in there, but I don't even know where to begin with those. Those are really kind of making sense now, so to speak. That's a fun combination. I'm going to try that again. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to introduce now is the scotch. And I'm going to take a break here uh, because I want to kind of give my palate a little bit of a rest and try this by itself since I haven't before. And then introduce everything together again. One thing I like to do when I'm tasting a scotch though is um, I like to, you know, look at the color. I like to smell it. And when I smell a scotch, I tend to smell it with my mouth open. That kind of draws out some of the alcohol so the flavors come out naturally. So it gives you more of a, of a clue what the flavors are by themselves. Hmm. So for me, when I think of Jura, I think of like a sea salt kind of characteristics. It's pretty... It's a little bit in there. It's definitely not heavy. I'm getting more tropical, kind of like a slight sweetness in there. And one thing I like to do as well is, if you have a glass, and don't make a mess at home, but if you have a small glass, uh, cup your hand and make a seal over the glass. And if you essentially get your palm wet, rub your hands together. And once it starts to get kind of sticky, you can really smell the scotch. So now I'm really getting those kind of tropical smells, a little bit of vanilla. I'm going to let my palate rest, and I'll be back in a second. Alright, it's been a few minutes, not too long. I didn't want the flavors of the walnuts and figs to disappear. I just kind of wanted it to mellow out a little bit with the tobacco. Smoke the cigar again, and kind of get used to the cigar by itself, and now introduce the scotch. And as you can see, the ash has been holding on beautifully. Of course it would, so I'm going to go ahead and ash it now before I make a mess. And let's try the scotch. I love smelling scotch as I drink it too. It's kind of part, it's like when you're smoking a cigar, you want to get the whole, whole experience. Oh, very nice. Good body, nothing that's going to overpower, melts, it works perfectly with the, with the walnuts and figs, so let's see what happens with the cigar. enough, I taste the figs and the walnuts more than I did when I had it by itself. It's the funniest thing. I, it really brought those flavors together. It's amazing. Yeah, it's, that's really cool. Hang on, I'm sorry, I'm really enjoying this. That's 
that's really cool. I'm tasting all those pieces really individually. Something about the, the way the scotch coats the tongue. Something that's happening that it's each one of those flavors is independently standing out very distinctively. Like I can tell exactly what those flavors are. Whereas when I first started the cigar, they were there, but nowhere like they are now. It's kind of cool. Like everything individually tasted, you know, good. Now it's just like a really great story this great completion this is a beautiful pairing i highly recommend you do this i mean this is a great experience and i want to thank ashton too for for designing this for for really bringing this experience and making things like this available to us i mean they're very passionate about what they do and i don't know how many tests that they you know tried i know they've tried different scotches different pairings and this is definitely the one i have to agree this is beautifully done thank you sophia uh from ashton for for sending me this treat and allowing me to to enjoy this and to share it with you. It means a lot. So yeah, definitely try this at home or any of the Ashton events. It's going to be the next thing coming up, so look at your local tobacconist, see when their event's going to be scheduled for. You'll definitely want to be there. Plus, you'll have the rep kind of giving you the hands-on experience so you can you can actually experience it with other people, too. So that's always fun doing it in the community. But otherwise, definitely try it at home, too. And when you do, take your time with it, have fun, and bounce from, you know, one to the other. See what it tastes like with just the walnuts. See what it tastes like with just the figs and just the scotch. And then maybe even go backwards. I'm going to probably be playing with that for the next, uh, for the rest of the evening. Go from the scotch and go to the walnuts and then go to the figs. I want to, you know, I want to see everything that really can happen. And again, what those experiences are. And that a cigar is not just a cigar. It truly is an experience. So I hope you have a wonderful one at home. I know I certainly am. And I'll be speaking with you soon. Take care. Bye.